Oh, shit. M&M's went all over the floor. E3 is like the gamer's Christmas. Or is it? Considering that Nintendo's had two awful E3s, one being E3 2008 and the other being E3 2015, you gotta keep your expectations low. So, I'm gonna do that for you and tell you a few things that'll keep your expectations super low. Just think you're gonna see only these and you'll be happy this E3. Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Switch is none other than a port of the 3DS version. And that's it! No Wii U content, the only new thing is the Inkling Fighters, Zelda Breath of the Wild costume, and that's it. 60 bucks. You wanted Mario Odyssey DLC? Ha! You're gonna get a 3DS port instead that runs at 20 frames per second. $60 as well. Most expensive 3DS game. Speaking of Mario, we are not getting a sequel to Mario Maker or even a port. We are getting new Super Mario Bros. 3 with Yoshi being able to be brought into levels. And that's it. Nothing's changed. 60 bucks again. Star Fox Grand Prix is a real thing. Yeah, I said it. Star Fox Grand Prix replaces F-Zero, and F-Zero turns into F-Zero Amiibo Party. You'll need all F-Zero Amiibos to play the game, and it's essentially a crappier version of Mario Party with F-Zero characters. And finally, we have Switch Music and 123 Switch. And the presentation will be ended off with a rendition of the Super Mario Bros. Underground theme, and this is all going to be hosted by Cammy Dunaway. So there you have it. Keep your expectations low and you will have a great E3. Anyways, thanks for watching and keep calm and da da on.